Welcome back to Indianapolis this week. A local author is tackling a topic very close to her heart, one that impacts children right here in Indiana and across the country. RTV6's Beth Vaughn is with Indy's newest author. Thanks, Katie. November is National Adoption Month, and one of Indianapolis's newest authors is bringing an important yet often overlooked topic to the forefront. Joining me now is adoption attorney and author Natalie Chavis Fisher, who recently completed her first novel entitled Adopting Tiger. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank Tell you me about your me. book. Absolutely. So this is Adopting Tiger, and I like to say it's a short novel with a big impact. So basically, the book is kid-focused but adult-intended, mm -hmm. and it's about two foster families attempting to adopt the same foster child. How often does that happen? It actually happens more than we would think. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times there'll be a, maybe a maternal grandparent and then a paternal grandparent fighting for the same child mm -hmm. or a foster family and a biological family fighting for the same child or two foster families fighting for the same child. So it happens more frequently than we would think. The foster care system is complicated. Oh, yes. Adopting a child is complicated. Yes. In Indiana with the opioid epidemic at the level in which it is. Yes. Um, things are even more convoluted. Tell me about how that has affected your work. That, yes, they are convoluted and in so many ways. Mm -hmm. um, there are a couple ways it has affected my work. Um, one, I've got more adoptions coming through my door. Mm. So what's happening is pe parents' rights are being terminated much more frequently. And so that's also though clogging up the court systems. So the court systems are creating more dockets, more attorneys. Mm -hmm. um, the Department of Child Services has more attorneys, so I work with more attorneys, um, some that I'm not familiar with, some that I am. Also, the children are traumatized in a way that they have not been in the past. An example would be, I've had plenty of cases where throughout the case, before we finalize the adoption, the parent OD'd. Wow. and died and so we have to deal with the child so maybe the adoption has to be put on hold for just a moment mm -hmm. because we need to make sure the child is stabilized before we do something much more major so we're seeing it in those types of areas mm -hmm. not only in the court system but in sort of the, the trauma for the children that's so heavy how, how do you get through that day to day you know what the majority of the work is rewarding because by the time it gets to me there's sort of a happy ending so all the painful stuff for the most part is done so we do all the work, we get to the final hearing, we clap, we hug, we celebrate, <laughs> um, and it's just, it's, it's actually wonderful on the, in, in most, most times. Excellent. Well, Natalie, your book is out. Yeah. Where can folks find it? Yes, so this uh, can be purchased on Amazon mm -hmm. in paperback form as well as uh, ebook. Mm -hmm. And for any schools who want to add it to a curriculum or libraries or bookstores, it's available through Ingram. Excellent. Adopting Tiger. Thank Natalie, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I certainly appreciate it. Katie, back to you. Thanks, Beth. You can join our conversation. Check out Indy This Week on Twitter and be sure to like the RTV6 Facebook page. Up next, we're looking at the six things you need to know for this week. Warren Casey is in with the six coming up next.